right, let's take a look at a couple of YouTube videos. Zoom in a little bit for you. Let's take a look at another one again. It defaults to um, HQ when you watch a video. Nice reflection in there for you. All right, well, that was very exciting. Anyway, that's a look at a couple of YouTube videos. All right, let's take a look at the text input methods available on the Epic 4G. We'll go into messaging. Holding down on the editor will open up your input method, and you can see we have swipe as well as the Android keyboard. Let's check, stick with the Android keyboard. You can see we have text to speech down here in the, uh, or speech to text, excuse me, down here in the lower left hand side. Nothing new or exciting about the keyboard itself. Call on Tuesday. And there you go. Take a look at it in the landscape for you. Nice size keyboard. Oh, call John didn't come out too well, but the rest of it worked pretty well. Take a look at swipe. And holding down on the editor will open it up. Input method, go to swipe. And here's your swipe keypad. And what's nice about this is you also get speech to text over here in the lower right hand side. So you've got your swipe. Sort of messed that up, but it sort of worked. Supposed to be call John on Tuesday. Didn't do it quite right. Let me try one more time. To swipe is pretty cool once you get the hang of it. John on Tuesday. I got it. Not bad. Call John on Tuesday. And again, it also works in landscape as well as portrait. Look at the keyboard there. So those are the on screen methods. Let's open up the full query, and you can see it's five rows. You have shortcut keys, which are very nice. You've got a home, search, main menu, and back shortcut key, which I think is great. Uh, your alt key or your function key handles all of your punctuation. You've got a smiley face input key, which is nice. You've got a mute key as well as a space key. And you've got three, excuse me, four directional keys. As far as um, the feedback and how they feel, get rid of that. We'll type a little something in. It's funny, I've been work using on-screen on keyboards for so long, these are harder. U -E -S -D -A -Y. But the feedback's very nice, the keys are all raised, you've got a full five rows. Very nice, very nice, comfortable keypad. Very happy with it. There's a quick look at the text input methods available on the Epic 4G. Let's fire up the browser and head to a couple of websites. Obviously, we're going to start with Smartphone Envy. I'm running it off my uh, office Wi-Fi and I have the display turned up as bright as it will go. I've had it turned up as bright as it will go the entire video. I also have the display setting for the browser turned up as bright as it will go as well. Almost loaded. And again, it runs uh, Adobe Flash Lite. There we go, fully loaded. And as you can see, it scrolls pretty dang smooth. Just going in. Go to an article. This is a video review of the Xperia and Captivate comparison. And let's just try running the video. See, it's a little, as it loads, sometimes it's a little herky jerky when uh, sliding with your finger.
Craig with Smartphone Emmy, and today we're going to take a look at a couple of the high-end Android smartphones currently being... You can see how quickly it loaded the video and how well it played it. Again, you can double tap. It's got multi-touch, and it reformats it to fit the page, which is very nice. Let's go to another website, one of my favorites, Pocket Now. Almost fully loaded. And you can see obviously it runs Flash. HTC Sense 3 concept. Take a look at that. Fully loaded. And there's a look at HTC Sense 3. Sense UI 3 sort of looks, reminds me of the new um, WP7 coming out. Anyway, there's a look at the browser. I did notice that it is a little sticky when it first starts up. I don't know if it's my finger. It's definitely once you have it up and running, it's very smooth, very easy to manipulate, but it did seem a little sticky when it first fired up. Anyway, that's a look at Samsung's Epic 4G, just released today on Sprint. Again, it offers 4G WiMAX con connectivity along with the Evo 4G, both of them on Sprint. I think it was uh, $249 was the total price after $100 mail-in mail rebate. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful. Take care.